few weeks ago, someone DM'd me on Instagram and was like, I am so lost on Thinkific and how to design a sales page. So I'm going to show you a little tutorial so you can design a page in Thinkific. If you're new here, my name's Jess and I'd love for you to subscribe. I post weekly videos for business owners like you to help you save time and look good online. And today we're gonna jump into Thinkific. So in the Thinkific dashboard, you're gonna go to manage learning content and then courses. And then you'll see all of your courses or memberships here. And whichever one you want to work on, we're going to click on that thumbnail. It's going to first take you to your actual materials, not your sales page. So we want to go up to the top right hand corner and click build landing page. So I already have my sales page built for my membership. As you can see here, it's kind of long, but I wanted to kind of explain what options you have available within Thinkific and kind of how it works. So over on the left, you can see we have this sections header, and then you can see all these white boxes that say banner text, image and text, text and media, checklist, over and over. So these are basically all the different sections of my page. You can also see if I hover over the actual page itself, you see a little white box that says text with CTA, which means call to action. Or here you can see that it says banner. So this is letting you know what type of section this is right here. If you want to add a section, you can scroll down to the bottom underneath what's already on the page and click add section. And then you have these options for what you can add to your page. So this is literally what you are confined to using. So let's first look at the banner. So I have chosen to hide the default buttons, which is a buy now button right here, because I don't want the buy now button to be at the very top. You might want to, I don't. Then we see we have the headings option. You can just decide to use the course name and description here if you want. I actually chose to use a custom one. And fun fact, you'll see I have this HTML right here with the B that's bolding this font. So I can actually customize a little bit of how the fonts display within the sales page. You can also change the color, the size. You could opt to have an image up here. I decided to do just a solid color. And then you do have an option for size and alignment. So how big of a section do you want? Meaning how tall do you want this section to be? And then the alignment is the alignment of the text. So you'll see if I click center, it will refresh and you can see now the text is centered. Now we can hop down to the text and you'll see again, we have heading, subheading, text. I could have a button here if I wanted and you can choose a destination like another page, product checkout so they can buy or join. And then you do have options for background color and layout and as well as columns and again, alignment. Now you'll see here in the background color, we only have two options with primary and secondary. These colors are set in your theme settings under colors. So you can see here, you have all these default settings for colors, buttons, and you can even choose the fonts as well. Thinkific does also have a copy section. So let's say you have some nice formatting or something that you've done. You are like, I don't want to have to recreate the wheel and I just want to copy this. You can click copy and then find whichever section. Obviously it would help if these weren't just the default settings of the name. So like, text and media, well, like which text and media is that? So if you want to rename a section, click on it. This little gear icon right here at the top will let you name the section. So here I could say like content to clients. That way I know which section it actually is. And if you're playing around and you're like, I don't know what is a call to action. What's that kind of section? Let me see that. Uh, you can scroll down, you can see, oh, this is what it is. Nope, that's not what I want. Click on it, and then you'll see delete section right here, and it's gone. If you have any questions about Thinkific, let me know down in the comments. Be sure and give this video a thumbs up, and I will see y'all next time.